If it's true what they say that you are what you eat, then today's perfect, because I'm a ham. Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of The Fogo Life. I'm your host, Captain Ron. So, it is that time of year again where hams are everywhere in the store. There's about a billion different ways to prepare them. We're gonna do you a simple way to do it and an incredibly tasty way to do it. It's a spiral cut ham, it's already cooked, so what are we gonna do to it? We're gonna cook it again. Oh yeah. Our very first step in our process is to light the grill. So let's get some charcoal open and get this thing lit. And today we're gonna be using our super premium low and slow charcoal. Great, now we got the grill lit, so that's exciting. The reason we lit it first is this is gonna take a little bit of prep. So we're gonna do an, a ham, a holiday ham, with an orange bourbon glaze, ooh wee. And then we're also gonna do some scallop potatoes. We're gonna do it in the bricknick, this little baby right here. So what I did is I got my mandolin out here. We're gonna take some russet potatoes and we're gonna cut them. Our potatoes are all sliced away. Now we need to make our sauce. We're gonna make a beautiful cream sauce for this. It all starts with two cloves of garlic that we're going to mince right here with this here knife. All right, sauce is done. Now let's grate some cheese. Time for some potato assembly. Now, we're gonna assemble these in our bricknick. The reason we're doing this ahead of time is this has a little longer cooking time than our ham does, believe it or not, because the ham's already cooked. And I know I've been calling it scalloped potatoes. We're actually making potatoes au gratin. The difference is that scallop, um, our scalloped potatoes are made with a roux, with flour, and everything. we're skipping all of that. Hooray for heavy cream, bad with the flour. So, some cheese. And we just repeat with a couple more layers. So, more potatoes. And then some more cream. This is like potato lasagna, this is great. Instead of basil, we're using thyme. Instead of mozzarella, we use gruyere, but it's gonna be just delicious. For our last layer, we're not gonna cover it with cheese. No, 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 we're gonna cook this for an hour and 15 minutes at 350 degrees, 350, just like this. So we're gonna sprinkle a little more thyme on, on top of the cream here. I'm gonna cover it up with the top of the bricknick and put it right on here to cook for one hour and 15 minutes. While those potatoes start cooking here, we're gonna prepare our glaze for our ham. Now we're gonna do it a little bit differently. Normally you cook the ham for a while, then you glaze it. I'm keeping it simple here. This glaze goes right on the ham, right as you cook it. So we're gonna make it, glaze it, and put it on the egg. So let's get started with six cloves of garlic in the food processor. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know I said six, but I go for seven for a little extra bonus. Now I've got orange marmalade here. I got an 18 ounce jar, so we're gonna add about half of this jar. So about nine ounces of orange marmalade. Then we got one cup of brown sugar, packed light brown sugar that is. And we need the zest of one orange. So I've got one orange and I've got a zester. We need about juice of about half of this orange. So we're just gonna chop it in half and juice it right into our, into our sauce. And now last but certainly not least, we're going to add about a quarter of a cup of bourbon in here. Hey listen, Use a good quality bourbon, okay? Don't use it if you wouldn't drink it yourself. So, about a quarter of a cup. Okay. Ooh, bourbony orange goodness. So, next, on to the ham. To make our ham, we're gonna start with this beautiful store-bought spiral cut already smoked ham. That's right, the work's already done for us. It's already smoked. All we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this baby open. And you see this seasoning packet that it comes with it? Well, guess what? We ain't using that, no, no, no. We made our own glaze. So, just gonna pop this open. And now we just pour it over to ham. And you can even get some of this glaze up in there too. It doesn't hurt it. Our ham is all glazed, and you notice I got it in this beautiful pan. This is our dripping grilled deluxe pan here. It's got a nice rack in it. It's gonna catch all of our drippings, not allow it to drip down into the grill, making a smoky, gross mess. Nope, so everything's gonna be completely concealed to this one pan right here. It's gonna catch all our juices, and it's gonna work out beautifully. Now, let's get cooking. Before we put the ham on, I wanna add one thing. I wanna add some bourbon barrel smoking blocks. I want some smoke to hit this ham. So, we're gonna take this whole thing off of here. All I wanna do is add two or three blocks here. One, two, three. In case you're wondering, the reason I didn't put the bourbon blocks in before, there's no need to put the smoke on the potatoes. There was nothing there. They don't have any, there's not open to it. So we want the ham to get smoked. So we're gonna put it on here, just like that. They can cook side by side. Two meals, one grill. Woo! All right, good. Now the ham is on, the potatoes are on. So I'm pretty excited about this. This upcoming holiday is one of my favorite holidays of all time. The family gets together, 
We have great meals. So this double, the double smoked bourbon orange ham is gonna be phenomenal for what you're doing. It's gonna, you, the family loves it. My family absolutely adores this recipe. So that's why I made a few. And the potatoes are gratin on the side. <laughs> potatoes, cheese, and cream. Come on, man, how much better can it get better than that? So anyway, while I got you here, do me a favor. If you saw anything that you like that we're using in this video, there's a link for the, for the product down in the description below. I promise you'll find it down there. Hit it up, see it out, see what, check it out, see what you think, all right? Also, subscribe to our channel. If you like what you see in here, give us a subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and leave us a comment down below. Tell us what you want to see us make next. We are one hour and 15 minutes into our cook here, so it's time to cheese our potatoes. So we're going to take the rest of this Gruyere cheese here. We're going to uncover the brick nick, and we're just going to throw some more cheese on top. All right, now we're going to close her up. We're going to cook that uncovered for about another 15 minutes so that that top layer of cheese get nice and melty and delicious. So good, I'm crying. And our potatoes have been going uncovered for about almost 20 minutes, and look at that. They are gorgeous, look at that. Now, according to our meter, our ham needs about another 10 minutes, so we're just gonna let that go. Well, the meter said 10 minutes, and it is literally exactly at 10 minutes, and it just hit our desired temperature. So we went to 130 degrees here. Now look at this baby. We're gonna take it off of this pan and put it right on the cutting board. Woo-wee, look at that ham, is that a beauty or what? So once again, just to reiterate, this was a pre-cooked spiral cut ham that all we did was put a glaze on it and cook it to 130 degrees, that's it. Let's see what we've got here. Oh man, that looks gorgeous. You know what else? Look at the beautiful crust that they built on here, absolutely gorgeous. That's called caramelization of the sugars right there. Guys, I have kind of mixed feelings. I'm happy because this came out so beautiful, but I'm sad because we're almost done with this video and this is an awesome one. I love it. This ham is so good. Got that beautiful little crust on the outside. That orange and bourbon just go together so darn well. It's gonna make for a very hoppy meal, if you know what I'm saying. Hoppy, nobody's gonna get that. Anyway, I'm gonna try this. I've got... I'm gonna pat myself on the back, because that's delicious. Now, even if you're not a big fan of ham, trust me, this orange bourbon glaze just converts it to a whole different flavor. It is so good. But the one I really been wanting to try is these um, uh, potatoes au gratin here. So let's dig in. Oh yeah, some cheese, got a nice little chunk of potato there. You know it's gonna be hot. You gotta love that cheese pull. Whoa. Oh man, oh my goodness. That's a meal in itself right there. I know people are gonna say you need another vegetable to go with or something like that. That is just delicious. The ham is fantastic. Those potatoes, just killer. So the only thing I'd do next time a little different, I would use a little bit less liquids in there. You don't need a ton of it. I kind of forgot and I got a little carried away, but you want it to be able to thicken up. So we had to cook it a little bit extra long to get it to thicken up, but I would use a little bit less liquid next time. But other than that, that's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. So I had a lot of fun making this one. Like I said, I'm kind of sad that it's over, but it is. So I'm gonna have to say now that make this ham, have a very happy holiday, okay? Or you know the holiday I'm talking about, is a very hoppy holiday. <laughs> Funny rabbits. Anyway, that, that joke just laid an egg. God, I've just gotta stop. Anyway, I'll stop now. So remember to get out in ham, get out in potato, get out in grill, and I'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life.